today I will be showing you how to make your own custom leaderboard inside of Roblox Studio. So let's get into this. First things first, inside of Starter GUI, click the plus and add a screen GUI. What you're going to want to do with the screen GUI is right click on it, click rename and just name it to player list. After that, click the plus inside of player list and add a frame. Right click on your frame and just rename it to list. Then with your frame, scroll down until you find size. Open it up and on X, it has one zero then a hundred, same for Y. The second part where it says a hundred, you need to make that zero. And what that does is it means it will scale to the screen of every device that it's on. So then after that, just use these little corners and sides to resize it and just move it to where you would like it. I'm going to put mine about there, I'd say. And then what you're going to want to do here is once you're done with resizing it, set the background transparency to one. And please do not come down to visible and just make it so it's unchecked. So then it's invisible because what that will do is anything inside of the frame then won't actually be visible, which means we won't have any leaderboard. So like, unless that's the route you wanna go, you need to just set the transparency to one. Next in playlist, click the plus and add a local script. Inside of that local script, just copy and paste the script in the pinned comment section down below. And if you actually watched the last video, then you might, recognize this and this is what disables the playlist so if you already have that in your game but want to make a custom leaderboard just leave out this top line and just have it to how it was already and what this will do is it basically makes a leaderboard and here it will find the maximum amount of players in the server so it will show you the leaderboard for how many people are in the server then after that click the plus inside of list and add a text label rename the text label to template and i'm just going to make the background color black but i'm going to set the background transparency to 0 0.5 then for text i'm going to come down and make it white so it's easy to see and text just hit backspace and hit enter that just makes it blank because this is a template which we will which we will be using to put the players names inside of the leaderboard so it's just best to have it empty then font this one's up to you i'm gonna come and put luckiest guy because i really like that then i'm gonna make it text scaled of course you do not have to then grab your template like click and hold it and put it into replicated storage then click on home and click play to test it out beforehand i actually made the mistake of leaving the offset on the template how it was before rather than setting it to zero and changing it and what it will do is instead of bringing your leaderboard like this it will just have one bar here and it will be fully blacked out so make sure to change the offset and yeah this is my username here you can change the font if you don't want it to look so cramped just take away text scaled and i'll show you what it looks like now and feel free to change the size around of course it will change by how big your server is like the maximum player count but yeah as you can see it fits slightly better there so yeah guys if you found this tutorial helpful in any way then please consider leaving a like as that means youtube We'll send this video out to more people so then more people can use this in their games. So if you want to see more games stand out with custom leaderboards, then make sure to leave a like. And if this video helped you out, then maybe just scroll down under this video and have a look at that subscribe button because I would really appreciate you guys subscribing because I helped you out. So maybe you could help me out in return. But until next time, Goodbye, guys. Yeah.